Light is incredibly powerful. Light triggers many phenomena that are vital for our everyday life. Uh, plants convert sunlight into energy. Uh, sun rays can cause our skin to produce vitamin D. And of course, light allows us to see the world around us. The first crucial step uh, of these processes are happening at extremely fast time scales. Uh, we are talking even up to second time scales, a billions of a billions of a second. These interactions are fast because they are driven by electrons and electrons themselves are extremely fast. Light interacts with electrons to start a reaction and then it's the exchange of electrons between molecules that uh, drives processes like photosynthesis. So these ultra-fast particles are key to understanding what's going on. We've discovered many ways of uh, harnessing these processes, but there's still a lot we don't understand about that initial rush of uh, electrons on a molecular level, whether it's in plants or in our skin or in our eyes. And as a researcher, I'm interested in learning exactly what happens to the electrons right after the reaction begins. To study this, we use the principle of flash photography. We use light pulses as short as a few hundreds of attoseconds to freeze frame the movements of the electrons in order to capture them in action. And we'll come here to LCLS to do this. LCLS is the X-ray free electron laser at SLAC and it's able to provide attosecond pulses of X-ray light. LCLS is a state-of-the-art tool that can allow us to observe electrons moving in real time across the molecule. So in our experiment, first we eat a molecule with one flash of light to activate the chemical reaction. And then we send a flash of X-ray light with a very short delay to take pictures of everything that happens next. This allows us to make a molecular movie and see exactly how electrons behave in this first moment. And not only can this tool capture these ultra-fast motions, it can actually help us to zoom into specific spots of the molecule for a more detailed observation. The dream would be to one day use this knowledge to control the behavior of electrons in light-driven processes. And such a knowledge uh, would pave the way for uh, more efficient light harvesting and would have a huge uh, potential impact on energy production, drug synthesis, and light-activated functions in advanced materials.